Uh, when you take over a sub two, do you continue paying their real estate tax and insurance or does the insurance and real estate tax get automatically recalculated under your name in the deed? Um, you know, if, if the loan that you're taking over Facebook user uh, has an escrow, that escrow is going to continue. You're going to make the payments. You're going to pay the taxes and insurance. Now the thing about an escrow, is it's recalculated each and every year. And if your seller had an exemption, if they were a disabled veteran, if they uh, are over a certain age in certain states and they don't have to pay uh, school tax, which is a big part of property tax, uh, if they have some type of exemption where they pay a lower tax or very little tax or no tax uh, and title changes, then that's probably, you, you, you can pretty much guarantee that's going to fall off. Uh, when the, and for next year, when the new tax numbers come out, your escrow is going to be adjusted. Your taxes are going to go up. It's very rare for them to go down. It happens occasionally, uh, but not very often. And uh, I think with, with most states looking for any way to recoup all of their losses from COVID, you can expect taxes to, to not go down anytime soon. But yes, you will continue to pay those, those same taxes. Your escrow will get a readjustment next year and you'll find out what's your, what's your new tax bill. Uh, what we find most of the time, almost every time, is you will save money on your insurance. Uh, homeowner insurance is usually higher than a landlord policy, which uh, the vast majority of the time you're going to be getting on the property when you take over, uh, it's going to cost less, so you will save some money on your insurance. At least that's, that's what we find. Hey guys, thanks for watching. While you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out these other great videos and podcast episodes.